my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Um, we are back for day two of autumn week. I'm excited. I am more of a bright colored kind of girl, as you noticed. <laughs> but I do also love these, the coppers, the golds, the those nice fall colors. So today, oh, oh, we're going to make another one of these little trinket dishes. This is the one I did in my other video where the lid didn't fit. So what I had to do was I had to heat it up. I took, I have some large wide mouthed coffee cups. So I did my Keurig machine with nothing in it, just the water. And then I flipped this inside like this and sat it in my mug for about I'm going to say five minutes and then I took my lid and I pressed it on there like so and I left it and it worked. So that's awesome. So this was the, um, let me find it here. This is the Lorez um, translucent pigment and this is the true blue. This is the one that um, Michelle had gifted me. So that's what it looks like that's an amazing color and then i've had to put some laura's glitters in there you know how it is my friends so i'm excited so i'm gonna mix my resin we'll go through my colors and all the amazing stuff when i get back and as i'm mixing i am using my respirator i choose not to wear it when i come back please wear all your ppe and i want you guys to be safe so when i come back I'll be all mixed up mentally and resin wise and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's see if the button works. Okay, I am back. I'm all mixed up and again resin of choice is crystal resin. This is their original recipe. Recipe like it's a meal. Um, I quite enjoy the original one. I can it cures within 12 to 24 hours for the purpose that I use it for, I quite like it. So the other ones are nice as well, but I just, I can't get into the three hour, the three day curing time. So that's my issue. It works well, it's amazing, but this is what I'm choosing to use. So I've mixed up four ounces. I've divided it into three, cause we're gonna do, here I'll get the colors out. We're gonna do some coloring here. I've opted, these are all pigments from Crystal Resin. We'll go through the pigments first. This one is red brown. This one is coffee. And this one is bronze. I think they're fall colors. And to go into each of them, I've chosen a different glitter as par for Sherry. This one is the autumn days from laura's art corner it looks amazing i'll show you it better when we open it up we're going to put that into the red brown now i was going to put gold in this one but i got thinking i have brown glitter and i couldn't remember where it was so again like i said i've been doing uv resin for probably 13 14 years this is a kit that i bought it is from martha stewart and it had a brown chunky glitter in it. So sorry, Laura, I always feel like I'm cheating on you, but we're gonna put this brown, it's called brown stone, um, chunky Martha Stewart glitter into this one. And the other one from Laura is golden rod chunky hex. And that's gonna go into the bronze. So I just have to show you something. I was upstairs doing a secret project it's been very busy. <laughs> you will see it because I did a video. Is that not the coolest? Would that not be awesome as Halloween glitterific moons for Halloween? I thought they were cute, so I had to show them to you. So anyways, back at the task at hand. I'm going to mix up and then I'll bring in my mold. So we're going to put just a little bit, just a little bit of the pigments. And let me get in here. Let's get, I'm going to do, because I don't want it to be very opaque, I'm going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of one of these little spoons of each one. i got to get more spoons. 
brown's already got one in there. And I'm going to put, opening it on the side so I don't make a mess because the as if you've worked with mica powders before, they fly everywhere that you don't want them to go. And again, just about a quarter of a little spoon. I tend to overhand these uh, mica powders. I've been told a couple times. <laughs> Sometimes it's good, like you want them not to be opaque. Oh, there's one in there. If you don't want them to be opaque, then, or you want them to be opaque, then you need to put a little more. So I'm putting that much of this spoon in there and that one's the copper. All right. Now my hands are all beautiful, but I'm gonna wipe them off so I don't make a mess with everything else. We'll start with this one since this one I have on my, a little bit on my spoon. Now I'm gonna layer these. I'm just gonna pour one color, switch the other color, pour another color, switch another color, and we're just gonna see what happens because that's how we roll. Oh, that's so pretty. Such a Halloween color. Now, oh, that's the bronze. So I want to make sure I got the right ones. Here, let me mix. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Welcome to Sherry's channel where she forgets what she's doing. Yes, that's the red. All right. I just didn't want to put the wrong glitter in there. So we're going to take... Laura's Glitter. This is the Golden Rod Chunky Hex. And if hex means that they are hexagon shaped. So I'm stirring it because there's different textures in here. And you know what? We're going to do, because it's sherry, one scoop. Awesomeness. So let's put this with the bronze, <laughs> so I can remember what I'm telling you is that I did. Oh my goodness. Oh. I always say, Laura, you had me at hello, <laughs> or at glitter. Okay, so that's mixed. I'm gonna, actually, I guess I got that spoon already in there. So this one is going to be the other one from Laura's Art Corner, this is Autumn Days. This is gorgeous as well. And we're gonna put, again, let's mix it up because it's a little different textures. You want all the different ones in there. And again, oops. Oh, one big scoop went in there. I'm gonna put that over here with this so I know what I'm mixing together so I can tell you amazing people. And let's see what this looks like. Oh. My goodness. Give it a good old stir and you're ready. Look at that. Stunning. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, you know what I'm going, I might as well dirty another one. They can all be cleaned. And this is the brown coffee. Oh, nice and dark. I'm almost tempted. It's time at the trailer. My leaves, we have a nice big, huge maple tree above our trailer and we get the nice leaves. So I'm thinking I'm gonna grab some and dry them. So this is the chunky from Martha. Sorry, Laura. And I'm gonna put just a, you know, that much. <clears throat> I don't know how much that was. I'm heavily handed when it comes to glitters, my friends. Let's get this in here. Oh, and that's pretty as well. See, these are the, the glitters I used to use when I made my jewelry, so. It ain't no Laura's glitter, you know, but it is glitter. All right, so where do we start? Do we just start with the, because this is going to be the top, that's going to be the bottom. So let's start with the red, then we'll do the brown, and then we'll do the gold. Oh, we want the gold, we want the brown on the bottom. So let's see. And I know it doesn't take a lot. I'm gonna wipe these. I'm gonna clean these off. I'm gonna wipe them right now, guys, 
as I've said in my mixing video, you need to wipe, especially these ones, to get them nice and clean. I'm just going to give it one more stir. And I hope I have enough in here. And have to remember to leave a little mixture. Maybe what that's what I'll do first is do the lid first. And then I can worry about the other in a minute. There. Okay, so let's we'll do the lid. We're going to put this side by side. You're in there. You are in there. All right. So let's do, we'll pour a little. Oh, I might not have enough. Here, I'm going to pour in here now. Because this is going to be, I don't know. I'm just going to pour. We're going to layer. So we're going to put this. I'm going to do this. Because if I remember correctly, it doesn't take a whole lot. And then I'll do this. when I did it last time, I ended up having to um, get rid of some. But you know what? It, it's not a big deal if I need to mix more. Let's try and do this one. And then I'll pour what's left. You know what I might do? I'm just going to pour what's in my lid in here. And then maybe I'll choose to do the lid one color. Does that make sense? Because I still need a little bit more. And I think it would be just enough that's in, what's in here. Okay, so I'm going to mix up um, I'm going to say two ounces and I think that should be enough. I'm going to try and scrape that all off in there. So that was four ounces. So I should have probably mixed up six. I'm going to wipe off this stuff off my table even though it's not a table it's an old painting that I did a round Dutch pour that I was going to make into a table and it never got to the end product so I'm going to wipe this down and I'm not hating what's in there but I'm just going to mix up some more resin and I'll be right back guys okay I've mixed up two more ounces and I opted because when I started, I layered it with the um, the red-brown first. So I'm going to see, because the top will have the red-brown around the edging, I'm going to do that for the whole top, and we'll see. There's some, a little bit of mixture of the brown that you can see. And again, I'm just going to mix, like I did before, just a little, if I can, of the pigment. And... Some of that amazing glitter. Let's get this mixed up first. So 
So now we know six ounces for this amazing little dish. Okay, so we're going to do another heavy-handed spoonful of my amazing Autumn Days from Laura's Art Corner. And here we go. This is a cute little, these would be cute little Christmas presents. Um, if you work in an office, it'd be cute on your desk. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to leave that and then I need to put more in here because I'm noticing it's still not full. so glitterific nice look at that let me see if I can scrape any more out of these other ones just to bring it up to that level and a little bit more of the brown so if you want to remember how much you've used other than making yourself a notebook um, you could write it with a sharpie somewhere on your um, your molds and that way you know what what it is that you used how much resin I started doing that and then I got away from it which is bad all right so with that let me clean up my little bit of a mess we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna bring this more in the center. Like that, and like that on my little stand here. And I wanna make sure that it's sitting completely round. But again, like I, I fixed the other one, so that's fine. So now I could come back with my, oh, it is here. Just my little wee torch, just for quickie. Maybe like that. That's it. That's it. It that is it. I can't speak today. And I'm using my 99% alcohol. Oh my goodness. I want to get it going before I start. Okay. All right. Here. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I need more in it because it's almost empty. So with that, I'm gonna let this cure. And unfortunately, the facts of life, I have to go to work. Um, it's just, it's very nice that I enjoy my job. So with that, my friends, I'm going to cover this with my amazing little tent. Let me grab it here if I can. Oh, we're gonna use the one you gave me, Sandra, with the flowers. Look at that, all pretty. So with that, we're going to leave this sit and I'll see you guys more than likely after work because that's why I like this. I can um, unveil it sooner. I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right, we are back. I'm excited. Well, let's get the lid first. All right. Uh, there we go. Oh, jeepers. That turned out adorable all right let's see what this does let's see people have told me to put some of this in there so squish it around I just have a hard time with my hands. Oh my goodness. There we go. It's just getting it started. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh. There. Let's 
struggle is real. I don't remember it being this hard. Here, let me just... There we go. Oh, that looks so cute. Look at all the different... That is adorable. And look at the glitter inside. <laughs> and it fits. Perfect. There we go. Let me fix this the right way now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Now, this is probably going to be day one of um, <laughs> autumn week <laughs> because of the way I've gone and done things. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. This turned out so adorable. I think that is pretty. And all of those glitters of Laura's, amazing. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. <clears throat> and if you like it, please give it a share. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, in the description box, I have the links to everything I used here today. And also I have the links to where to purchase um, Fundy molds with a discount code. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds. I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds. I also have the links to where to purchase Triart liquid glass. I have the links to um, crystal resin, which we used here today. And my discount code is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I also have the links to um, Let's Resin with a discount code of sherry m10 i also have the links to my two amazing lorez distributors i have a uh, michelle from artworks resin canada go check out her website she's got some amazing stuff other than lorez and use my discount code of sherry molten 10 capital s capital m and the amazing laura from laura's art corner my glitter guru my american lorez distributor um got these glitters today go use my discount code for laura's all capital letters sherry molten 10 and with that i have my paypal link if you choose to donate and help support my channel and i'm an amazon affiliate my links are in there as well so with that being said I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Hope you have an amazing day.